back to another video after a long time i'm doing a review of pixis os which is 4.1.0 version uh, it was released few uh, days back maybe uh, but i i'm late due to my illness so let's get it started from the setting and uh, let me show you about setting about section you guys can see here the pixis os version which is 4.0.1.0 version and GFS build of course so you guys don't need to flash GFS separately and you guys can see the security update July 5 to July 1 and kernel we have the pixies by default and we have that Xiaomi parts and I don't want to waste your time as uh, showing the same things again and again and so we have that Xiaomi parts in pixies OS and we have that MI sound enhancer and we have some presets and we have the thermal setting when you, you are playing games you guys can set on gaming no problem and extreme battery performance whatever you want and we have that display color calibration you guys of course use that one and set on boot you guys can use that color calibration and Xiaomi does you guys can see hand wipe pocket you guys can check yourself and now we have this double being it's working pretty much fine no problem and on security we have as usual face unlock working pretty much fine and app locker you guys can see here if we can easily use that app locker no problem so you guys can lock any application here and after that we have sound settings as usual what we always had in that and on display settings, brightness, style and wallpapers, you guys can see. And so many presets are there, you guys can change according to your test. And you guys can change the grid size easily. And auto rotate screen, you guys can enable this. Double tap to wake working pretty much fine, no issues on that. And enable blabs, you guys can see doors in some UI elements require device reboot so when you uh, enable this one just do a reboot it will work with no problem and we have some an icon pack you guys can see you guys can change like this so icon pack already changed and the icon shape you guys can see so many icon shapes are available now let's find out some basic things and you guys can change uh, the clock style and the theme accent color you guys can change accent color so many accent colors are available here no problem with that and then uh, let me finish about battery already 3 hour and 36 minute uh, screen uses and already we have 56 percent charge so you guys can uh, get easily uh, more than seven hours is in on time uh, it's normal use if you play games then you will get uh, uh, six hour maybe or less it depends on your uses so battery backup is really good not bad it's really good and you guys uh, pick this way always uh, good you guys already know that and finally export we have all the customizations and features available on a status board, traffic indicator you guys can enable from here no problem and battery style you guys already know about that so brightness slider show always you guys can enable and one problem I found here that when we explore one setting and when we uh, get back then uh, it's totally out so on the main setting this is a problem and if you can use like this if you use gesture then you can easily use it no problem so use like this and notifications you guys already know about that and buttons and lock screen what do we need the necessary uh, features are available only here you guys can enable swipe to screenshot which is enabled already if you swipe three fingers you can take a screenshot 
you guys already know that so after that our network section what do we have we always have like this and bluetooth hotspot everything is working but uh, when you transfer any data through one device to another device uh, it is very slow in that room I found it and I just uh, tested it personally and now let's come to some basic things like uh, CPU throttling uh, let me show you which was 79% maybe yes uh, CPU throttle to 79% which is not so great and not bad actually as usual we have on all Android 11 ROMs and I already rooted that device now let's check the safety net issue safety net passes or not so you guys can see by default safety net passed just go to magics and click on magic setting and find out the magic side option and just enable it and reboot the device and you're good to go then your device will be safety net passed now let me show you the geekbench is called and room is really smooth for your day to day life you guys can easily use and the CPU throttling uh, test can be varied for person to person no problem and due to the weather changes and uh, how you are doing this depends on something and uh, which battery percent you have when you are uh, testing the CPU throttling everything depends on that so it can vary Uh, single core score which is really really good 269 and a multi core score also good no bad not bad so uh, uh, Geekbench score is really great no problem on that and I'm using here the latest Google camera you guys can see and which is working pretty much fine and we have uh, our Redmi 7 or Redmi Y3 we have the two camera so you guys can switch to second camera uh, which is uh, actually useless I should say because to make a is nothing it's not a word so use 1.0 which is the main sensor you guys can easily use and this camera is working pretty much fine with portrait video and night side everything is just working pretty much fine and if you guys want that I will drop the link in description you guys can check that out so that was the video actually guys uh, hope you guys like that video and if you guys really like my videos then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and let me clear one thing night light auto rotate flashlight everything is just working pretty much fine and dark theme everything is working no issues on that so thank you guys thank you for watching